In this video we're going to look at the probability or rule and that's when we're looking at the probability of something happening or something else happening. And the simple rule is if we want the probability of A or B it's the probability of A plus the probability of B. So what is the probability or rule? Well when we're working out the probability of something happening or something else happening we use the or rule. But the probabilities must be mutually exclusive that means they can't happen at the same time. So give an example where we couldn't use this would be if we wanted the probability of getting a square number on a die or getting a odd number on a die. And because one is an odd number and a square number, so it comes up in both situations, this is not a mutually exclusive situation. So we couldn't use the OR rule then. So if we're considering the property of A or B, we just calculate the property of A and the property of B and add them together. The situation we might look at is the property of getting a 2 or a 4 on a die, although later on the situations will be more complicated. So we work out the property of getting a 2 and the property of getting a 4 and we add those results together. Now let's look at a couple of examples. In this first one we're looking at a 10 sided die so it's numbered from 1 to 10 and we want the property of getting a score less than 3 or greater than 7. Now those situations are mutually exclusive because you can't get a number which is less than 3 and greater than 7. So we want the property of getting a number less than 3. Well that's 2 over 10 because it's only a 1 and a 2 that would satisfy that condition. And greater than 7 would be 3 over, over 10 because we can either get an 8 or 9 or a 10. So the property of one or the other are those two probabilities added together. So that's 2 tenths plus 3 tenths, which gives us 5 tenths, which can be simplified down to 1 half. Now for our second situation, we're going to look at a bag and it contains 3 red, 4 green and 6 white discs. And we want the property of getting a red or a white disc. And again, this is mutually exclusive because you can't have a red and a white disc. Well, the property of getting a red disc is 3 out of 13 because there are 3 red discs and 13 discs altogether. The property of getting a white disc is 6 over 13 for the same reasons. So the property of getting a red or a white are those two probabilities added together. And 3 and um, 6 is 9, so the final score or result is 9 over 13. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.